payments coming out today and you spent all the money. Bought a bunch of office stuff off of Cyprus. Yesterday was the first day I came back from Fernie and I had some time on my hands and I'm like, okay, well I'll uh, go and get the seatbelts. Country boy can't survive without a seatbelt. Ah, going down to the farm here. It's on the back side of this industrial park, which is pretty slick. It's like, man, it'd be nice to just live right in the industrial, well, not in the industrial park, but it's right along the Red Deer River. He's got a pretty sweet spot. So there is a truck that kind of got rotten off and it was pretty much new. So I was talking to the guy the other day and he was like, we were going to try to fix it, but the frame's bent, so probably not happening. So I'm like, can I get some parts? <laughs> I'm like, I'd love to get some interior parts because shit be wore out. Definitely look for heater controls, glove box if it's black, and door panel. Should probably get some visor clips where the round part clips in. And uh, we should be good. Let's see what color it is. If it's all black, I might go gung ho and swap the whole interior for black. And then I could have black on black and that would be badass. Maybe it's got a way cooler dash bezel, but I'm sure I could get the bezel too and wrap it and then have it ready for when I need to do it. And there's the Red Deer River. We actually float right by here sometimes. If you float all the way down to, uh, is it Blind Man? Yeah, Blind Man Campground. Oh, it's just tandem? Oh, hi puppy. It is all gray. Not broken. This is good. Hi. Pups, how you doing? Was your head wet? Oh, I was gonna opt for the seat. The seat's already gone. And it is gray on gray like mine. Gray dash. Damn it. I need a black one. Oh, I should scoop that phone pedestal so then I can have the pedestal for my phone. Nice. All the switches are like pretty much new. Oh, the cruise control's already wore. I need that air dump one though. Oh, someone already scooped the controls. Oh, no, they're right there. They're already off. Sweet. Oh. It was definitely way more work than I anticipated, and I don't know if I uh, want to do that again. Or am I going to remember? But all the, uh, these, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're, this one on mine is completely broke off. So yeah, it's a little bit of a fight getting all this undone. I was actually worried that the window was going to fall in, but I think we're all right. They made the holes for these plugs to fit through, just not big enough. Which was a pain in the butt. But with my little eye, something that is robin egg blue. Three window sleeper. I know exactly where that came from. T157 was the last of the cats that we had bought. And uh, 
I showed a picture of it. It was a uh, someone kamikaze did at Bowden. We were, buddy was going west, and uh, pickup came around the corner and just broadsided him. The guy was trying to commit suicide or did commit suicide. These are a bit of a bugger to take out. Um, but yeah, it rode off the truck, bent the frame, broke the block. And uh, yeah, I remember that sleeper was sitting. Out on the entrance to a comb off of two, it was sitting at that place. Oh! It's like a scrap metal place and it was sitting there for a long time and I don't know. If someone else bought it or what? But it's here. <laughs> Tis here now. I'll have to ask for that for an upgrade. I'll be like, can I have that blue sleeper? Put it on my red truck. Call me Smarties. Oh blow gun! Push fitting, yeah! Zoink! Now I'll have a blowgun. Oh boy. Oh, I don't wanna do this one. That is gonna be way too much work. I don't know how to get those fittings off, the air fittings on the back. I thought they were push fitting. Some of them are, but then there's other ones that are not. I'll have to revisit that some other time. Every truck I own is missing this. I need light bulb. Which I'm sure, I'm sure we have them. Like I'm here, might as well just take this one. Now I got a spare, just in case. I'll spot out some other cool one that's a C500. I see Ford started making their keys like a Volkswagen. to the shop. Same as my other one that was broken, but when you wrap it, it doesn't matter. I'll glue this all. Body work it, smooth it, prime it, paint it. Just kidding. <laughs> Looking very good out. Looks like it might get the rainy, and I know if you're on the roads in Red Deer County and it's raining, that's an automatic shutter down. So it looks like a 50-50% chance here. We might get rained out. Let's hope not. Today we are going to help Cal Nash do a rig move. It's uh, Twiggler Drilling. Oh, what the fuck's it called? TD? Drilling? Can't remember. It's for Vesta, anyways. So it's just uh, west of Lacombe and north of the Cray. Little fun farm there where they got the corn maze and all that good stuff. And I think it's just going back to Cal Nash's yard. So pretty easy, not very far apart, it's probably only 30-40 minutes uh, from location to Cal Nash's. We got the 16 and 24 mid today, double lined, and signed for the mud tank, but you never know. It might be a little hot, eh, it should be alright. 
Jeeps, but they might take on a low boy or a mid, but we don't have a low pro Jeep, so it's not, <coughs> it doesn't sit flat on the Jeep. So hard to say what it's gonna look like. We don't have any, uh, we gotta be able to make five, five? Shit, I can't remember what the overpass coming in, because we gotta come in on 12, go under the overpass, then get on two, circle around to Lacombe on two, and then of course we gotta dodge the five meter there, and then it's the three lane to 2A, and then into uh, 53, and then go west a little bit so we can get to Cal Nash's yard. So, that's the permanent route anyway, so we'll have to uh, make sure we're good on height. Should be good. <laughs> I don't think a mud tank would be over 5'6", or even 5'5", five five. it should be more like 5'2", five 5'3". Five I don't know. That mid looks high anyways, but anyways, yeah, that's what we're doing. Rig moving today, I'm sure we'll get a load or two. And we'll see what's up. Hopefully, <laughs> never pulled mid. You know, I was so used to pulling the wheeler that I pulled when I was at road train because I just I knew it's little. I just knew exactly how to do what I needed to do and uh, line up to loads. It was really weird. I had like these little niches that I would be like, okay, I gotta line this with that. So when I pull something completely different, I'm off. But maybe a mid is, uh, I've never pulled a mid. Not even empty. <laughs> never backed one up. So just like the other day on the 24i, I've never pulled one, never backed one up. We did have uh, 16 highs one time without a Jeep and we were, uh, we put a cabins on them because we put, what the fuck did we put on there? 20 foot mats sideways and then put a cabin on top of it in two pieces when we're at road trail that was pretty cool that would have been a sick video but i didn't i didn't end up actually pulling end up pulling it because something else happened something stupid like i had to go stand a tank farm with t-bed but i was originally signed to do go haul this log cabin that we split into two with a picker and uh yeah, well, your guy phone and he needs you to come out and build a tank farm. I'm like, tanks over a log cabin hall? Oh, yes please. Yeah, it's this key. This key is shitty. Had a different key in the ignition yesterday and it worked just fine. Kind of a pain in the butt. We did some house cleaning yesterday, put the stereo in, just the deck. It's tired of not having any tunes when I get to going down to Fernie once you leave Calgary it's all just country music stations and I was like meh scoop this out of that parts truck gonna cement my magnet right there boom and uh, change this whole door panel so we got her all kind of minty over here now
Action. Something's going on here. I don't know if it's the lines twisted or what. Or I forgot how to how to run my line properly to be snatched up. I was already lined up to it. He's like, it's driver's side heavy. I'm like, shit. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Seems alright though. Just make sure everything's cool here. I really need to get some more deck pins because I got shit pins. And that hole's plugged and that one's broke off in there. Right what one I needed. Super inconvenient. So yeah, I'm definitely closer to drive side. Oh well, we're not going far.
That's a fucking hard one, eh? Crooked as fuck. It's the worst one I've had all day.